writing things down because as you already know i have i don't pay attention apparently <laughs> well like i'm paying attention no, you do. I, don't, I don't remember things well i have a bad memory so it, it's hard to remember honestly when you're when you have so many subjects it's it, it's hard to remember but I, that's what i've been doing too so i have my little book and i've been writing things down um but i guess another thing too that i wanted to do at least with mine because i filmed two but i don't think i'm gonna upload the second one because the second one just didn't go that well uh is just have like a schedule as to like what topics i want to touch on first and then what i kind of want to end with yeah that's so good. i think that yeah. we just kind of we raw dog it yeah <laughs> yeah we, we just go in <laughs> <talking>. <laughs> yeah <laughs> which i think is is good too uh but i think in order to like stay within a time frame you should have like a set schedule kind of thing so yeah, you're we're trying to keep within an hour but now all of our episodes are like two hours long because we just kind of yeah. lose track yeah it's it's hard to stay within that hour but for today i think obviously sticking with strictly olympia stuff since it's so fucking close yeah um so i don't and know i think things now I need to fix a lot because last time I did my predictions were like it was on the 18th. Yeah, I have so... too. So, and you didn't even give a top 10 yet. You only gave a top five so far. Um, yeah. You missed it. Uh, I've changed my entire list quite a bit. So I keep, I keep getting like this advantage too, like this with you and me doing it here today. And then I'm going to do it with them again on Thursday. Um, oh, okay. Get more time to check some stuff out. So yeah. Uh, things keep changing. I literally, before this happened, though, and then for people listening, if you don't know, this is the day that Nick Walker decided he's not going to be able to do the Olympia because he tore his yeah. camera. I literally picked him to win yesterday. I decided I thought he was going to win. Did you? Yeah, because I was just thinking more about everything. Like, I kind of went into a rabbit hole the night before last, like, yesterday, and was looking into a lot of stuff, and I was like, I really do think that Nick is actually going to come over on this one because... You know how they talk about earning your stripes in the pro league and kind of needing to build your reputation up to that? He's definitely done that by now. He's very consistently moved up in placings. He doesn't yep. take losses lightly. He just always progresses from that. So I think the Samson thing would have just done more for him as far as motivation goes. I thought that he was going to come in looking pretty crazy, so that was unfortunate. Yeah, I think it definitely would have been his best. Um, and when you when you messaged me about it, I was like, wait, what? I like had to read it twice. I was like, what the fuck do you mean, Nick's news? And then I went to Buys and Tries. There was nothing there. So then I went to his page, and then I saw that. And it was actually like, it hit me hard in the feels because I've been there, like where I had to drop out three weeks out where I tore my quad, pretty much. And like, I know you've been there. You've had an injury too, right? Well, I had just... Uh... I was supposed to do USA's 2022. I qualified in 21. And that's just kind of when I, like, had my depression. I lost my best friend that year, December 2021. Right. So, like, after all that, and then um, I was supposed to do that show still. He was supposed to go there with me and everything. And that's kind of why I ended up not being able to do it. So it's not injury-related, but it's still, you know, like, life circumstances taking over. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, this is this is definitely something I was not expecting at all. Like, no. I'm very shocked, but at the same time, I'm not surprised either, because it seems like that's just the way this year is rolling. Like, there's so many people that are running into so many issues, and, um, you know, as we saw, not last year, the year before, with George, that was heartbreaking for me. I was a huge fan of George. Yeah. Um, so you never really know what can happen. It's until they step on stage, right? So, um this changes obviously so much uh so yeah. why don't we why don't like we not, sorry i was just gonna say i feel like it's oh, not no, as go ahead. for me to just move everybody up one place in either right now i feel like i gotta do more than that yeah yeah this this, this definitely changes a fuck ton so right, right now your top five is Derek, hottie samson nick andrew yes so i had i had changed that uh, not long ago, and I went, where did I put it? 
had it on here somewhere. I ended up going Derek Hottie, Samson, Andrew Nick. But oh, then wow. Yeah, but then I was gonna change it today, like almost completely. That's what I like did. Like <laughs> first, second, third, <laughs> yeah. Uh and then now that having Nick out of it, it changes it even more. So because I had I did a top ten where I had Nathan in the top ten as well. I did too, and uh, then it was announced that he wasn't going to make it, and then Bruised for me was like a pending thing. He was definitely going to be put in the top ten for me if he was able to make it. He didn't make yeah. it. Yeah, we so... More, so that threw a wrench and things too, because that's another guy that I thought would be in the top ten with like certain things being considered. But before we do this, just so you know, yeah, <laughs> bet. we've come up with what the bet's going to be. I'm down for the tattoo, but let, let's let's hear it. Yeah, but I'm going to get the tattoo anyway. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it. Um, so whoever, so we said, because this is like very unlikely, but we said this anyways, you don't have to be a part of this one if you don't want to. If somebody gets all of the 10 correct exactly, not a single one's missing, then I said I was willing to put up $500 and then everybody else said they were too. So like that would be a $1,500 to $2,000 cash pool. If Holy shit. Got, that's if you got every single person in the top 10 exactly right, yeah. though. So that would be really difficult. But then the, the bet is whoever loses, the other people get to decide what that person has to wear to the gym and they have to record in it. And they have to be <laughs> anything pretty much. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. Sure. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> and is that for top five or is that for top 10? I like think closest... we're going to go with like top 10 but i think the reason we did that originally was because the top five for everybody wasn't super different but now everybody's top five is entirely different so far so i don't know yeah we'll 10 just in case okay all right so you, you said you're gonna change up pretty much everything i, really I guess i don't know how much i'm gonna change it's just i feel like if i feel like it does change an entire lineup even for one top guy to not be in there because yeah. I think just standing next to certain people is going to influence the judge's decision based off of weaknesses and strengths that are being shown. And 100%. I think that if you stand somebody like Hottie up next to Nick, then I think now, like this year, Hottie would have slipped back from that because Nick mm. is going to have more muscle, but he's going to have a lot of conditioning and detail, and Hottie usually wins on conditioning and detail. So if Nick isn't there to offset that for Hottie, I don't really know anybody else in this lineup that is, which means I feel like I kind of want to put Hottie up in first to get her second. Yeah, no? so I was actually going to switch. I was going to put Hottie first again, because originally I had Derek, but then I was just thinking, I'm like, you know, the only person that's beat Hottie, or sorry, yeah, the only piece in, person that's beaten Hottie was Brandon. What the last too. Yeah, like right. I saw smaller. his update. Yeah, smaller, but he's just like more complete. More complete yeah, for sure. This, this is what I speculated. I think that he's older, they've tried to bring the legs up a couple times, his legs are just not gonna be able to come up, it's not gonna happen. So I think what they're doing is they're trying to downsize his upper body so that there's a balance between the upper and the lower. Yeah. Um according to um Abdullah, he's 20 pounds lighter right now than his stage weight last year. Yes, I did hear that. That's crazy. Yeah. That's are you crazy. Solidifying, are you solidifying Hottie in first place, or are you still thinking on it? So I'm go I'm I'm stuck between Hottie and Samson because yeah, that's I haven't I'm seen I haven't seen Samson, but from what I'm hearing, he is significantly better than Arnold. But mm. we know how bodybuilding works; anything can fucking change within like half an hour. So, yeah. <sighs> I I do have Samson in first and Hottie in second. I think is what I'm gonna go with because, um, in the most recent podcast episode that I listened to, Fuad brought up a good point. He doesn't know if Samson's size is gonna stand out in a good way or a bad way. Now. Yeah, yeah. Because there's not gonna be any Rami to compare him to, so he could be really really big on stage but he would probably need to be in pretty gnarly ridiculous conditioning otherwise he might even flip back yeah it's really hard to say and then the same with uh here let's pull up let's pull up uh derek here because I, I i haven't looked at 
any of Derek's updates re recently. I don't know if he's had any. For some reason, I just don't really uh, have Derek. Like, I just I think he's a really good bodybuilder. Just for some reason, I don't really see what everybody else seems to see. He, really? I don't know how Reese thinks that anything either. Yeah, no, I think he's really uh, good. Just, I think he, he needs to hold on to size a lot longer because he's not going to have that same amount of muscle maturity that a lot of these other guys are going to have, especially now that he's getting more new tissue with a whole entire year's off season with no breaks, not even trying to get into the 212 weight cap. He's had like full blown off season this last year. So I don't really know how that's going to play to his favor because he will probably come in a bit bigger and he'll retain his shape, but how dense yeah. is it going to be? Yeah. Like even here, he's beautiful shape, but the, the condition and the density is just not. Yeah, I think not he's, where Hottie is, and no, not he's where in great condition. It's just he's not going to have that density and that muscle maturity quite yet. I think that's going to take him another couple of years to obtain. Yeah, he's quite young still. I think is he like twenty six? He's around the same age as Nick Walker, isn't he? I feel like he's even younger than Nick. I feel like he's twenty six or twenty seven, something like that. It's hard for me to think like that too because I know that he's been. In the pro league for a while, I can think back on when he was competing in the 212 and people were really disappointed in him a lot of the times up against Flex because he wasn't coming in shape for a while. I think he only competed against Flex once or twice, though. I because he twice. won the... That's still, that's still, for somebody in their like mid-20s, that's oh, pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah, fuck, this is so tough. And then that's another thing that I was thinking too, uh, because Nick's not going to be there anymore. I thought that Nick's back double comparison to Derek's back double was going to show oh. more strength for Nick because Derek does have a really, really good back. But I think as far as the whole entire pose goes, looking at everything in that pose, I think Nick still beats Nick him. wins that, yeah. So I'm wondering what that's going to be like now too, because Samson doesn't have the greatest back compared to those guys. But if he can come in, oh yeah, that back lad is fucking nuts. I remember. But he's still it. not like super, super grainy and hard. Like even like Brandon's back double will fucking smoke this. You think? I don't know. I don't know about the Brandon's the back double is really good. The roundness and the thickness might, but I think. Well, I mean the roundness and Brandon's might. The thickness and Derek's is going to be a bit different and the complete. Yeah. Well, do you have anything that you could pull up of Brandon's? I know that he posted a back update. Um, yeah, I can go up. on YouTube because there's a there's a 4K video of the finals last year. This is hard for me. I don't think that I can this have Brandon really very <laughs> high up in the in the placings. I just don't think I can. I feel like he's just consistently started to slip down and lower and lower, and it's not like I don't know. I'm not trying to count him out, but... It, it, for me, I had to really think about it because, I mean, he ha he is a previous Mr. Olympia, right? Yeah. But at the same time, we have seen previous Mr. Olympia slip quite easily, like Rami. But Rami was a significant difference. Rami's probably, that's the biggest slip that I think a Mr. Olympia can make out of winning in Olympia, like going down to fifth in the very next year, I don't think that they would put somebody further past that. Um, yeah. With Brandon, it's been a Good gradual year. flip. And then I think that knowing that he is a previous Mr. Olympia is something that gets in a lot of people's heads when they're trying to make these predictions. But then you also kind of have to think who was in the lineup when he did win that Olympia. There was a lot of people missing. It's true. Pretty much the great majority of the top 10 from last year wasn't really, it wasn't the same top 10. It was a much, much less competitive year when Brandon won, for sure. You know you know what, Josh? You're totally right on the back double there. I'm like, I thought about... See, he's round. It's just not, it's not like... You yeah, know why I'm that, though? Because I, the, like I said, I went down a rabbit hole the night before yesterday, and I went to my Olympia app, and I rewatched a little bit of the live stream. <laughs> mm, smart. Okay, yeah, you're totally right. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, did it pause? What happened here? You see that? How Samson... Samson... Narrow. Samson looks narrow from the back next to Derek, but he's not. Yeah. So that's what's pretty crazy. I think... Even if Samson only lost back double, back last spread, though, he could still win in every other shot. So that's what we Yeah, because it's two versus... What? There's four other poses? Front poses? 
front yeah. double, front lat, ab and thigh, side chest, side tricep, most muscular. Um, yeah. So six, five or six. Brandon does have a good back though. It's just like, it doesn't look as good when he has that much width in his back, but then his legs don't flare at the same. Yeah. I mean, he was very off at this Olympia. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely the most off I'd seen him. But seeing this again, I'm like, oh, okay, Hottie is just so fucking good. He is. You know what's really He's weird about so good right now, too, is like Hottie, for some reason, he just seems like a more detailed version of Derek in some of these poses. Obviously, he doesn't have oh, to yeah. shape, but like, they're very similar looking to me. Very similar. It's almost exact same height. Yeah, look at fucking... that. It's like Derek has more lat here, but other than that, they're pretty close other than the detail in the, in the hottie. Put a, a unibrow and a beard on Derek and yeah. <laughs> it looks similar. That's great. <laughs> um, see, this is a... So I made this argument for Hunter yesterday, and now I'm feeling like I need to start thinking a little bit the same way when I talk about Derek, because what I said about Hunter was he... My girlfriend asked me on the phone the other day, like, do you think that Hunter will be somebody like Andrew Jack with Andrew's color? And I said, the height is only a benefit to you when you have that shoulder width. And Hunter, yeah. even though he's not tall, has very, very comparable shoulder width to taller guys. I think that's oh, yeah. a lot of the Oh yeah, upper body is crazy on him. It's a lot of the same with Derek. So I feel like Derek's width next to Samson is still pretty, like it stands up. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if Hunter jumps into the top five now because we have Derek, Hottie, Brandon. I can't see Brandon in the top five again. Honestly, I really can. I don't necessarily think that he would be top three. Oh, look at Nick. Yeah, that's that's a great shot for him. He's going to win this year. I really do think he was. I really like Derek's side chest, and, and Hottie's is fucking wild. But I like Samson's. Yeah. Dance has just got an alien. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but like they won't they won't say Samson's weight or even Samson doesn't they, know. They never do. They don't weigh him at all up until yeah. like, the, the day of. I think that's smart. That's something I need to start implementing because that's what tends to fuck with me a lot. Me too, maybe, but I think that if I do a real prep again, then it won't be an issue, because the only reason that it was creating a mental issue for me these last, like, the last time is because I was gaining weight into the show, but I was getting leaner because I was recalling mm. so, Oh, that's sick. I wish I could do that. I went from 213 to 240, and then I had to really deplete back down to 230, so I barely made my weight cap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, that was for open? Yeah, well, for classic, I did both. I got both. Yeah. But I, um, I won both. I just only cared about open because I thought it was a lot cooler that I won open. <laughs> but I, I, um, I ate fast food every day except for peak week. That's fucked. I know, dude. I I have the DoorDash receipts too because people didn't believe me when I said that the first time. I was like, no, look, I DoorDash like twice a day every fucking day. <laughs> Taco Bell. Literally, Taco Bell, Papa Sponsored Taco. Sponsored by Taco Bell. Del Taco Del Bell. Taco. Del Taco was a big one. Oh, that's in the States only, I think. Oh, we don't have that here. I feel bad for breaking news. <laughs> I know. Breaking we have we have nothing here. Today. It fucking sucks. What is this bullshit? I don't want to see this. Oh, God. Okay, so seeing this, does this does this help you a bit? Yeah, kind of. I saw it a little bit the other day. I think I still know what I'm going to do, though. I'm I'm going to go as far as top three. I think I'm going to solidify Samson, Hottie, Derek. Samson, Hottie, Derek. I okay. do think that it's a long shot to have Samson win his second Olympia, but I think if anybody could do something like that, it's going to be him. Fuck. This is so you, tough. mute it? Can I mute it or unmute it? Mute, mute the video. Oh, is it not muted? No. Oh, I I couldn't hear it. Oh, no, you're good. Okay. Uh, I just get upset when I see Nick right now. I know, I know. I just, he's fucking big, dude. Look at him next I to Brandon. Wonder, and this is a big Brandon, too. I wonder how bad the tear is and if that's really going to affect... Ooh, look at Hottie, dude. Side chest, right? He's standing next to Samson here, so that's a pretty good, like, look at... 
Yeah, so I'm really stuck between... Fuck, but Derek's back double is so good too, though. I know, but when I think of Derek, I really only think of back double. Yeah, that's true. And front lat. Oh, uh, front lat is good, yeah. His front lat is good, but Samson's is better. I think that that's why specifically when I think of Derek, I just think back double and front relax, specifically those two. Yeah, front relax, yeah. Well, apparently they made a lot of changes to Samson's posing as well. So yeah. I feel like that's going to make a big difference. Okay, let's fucking... Okay, so you said... You said Samson, Hottie... And then Derek. Derek. And I just think Hottie is very consistent, but he's only going to be maybe 5% better, whereas a lot of these other guys are going to be 10, 15, 20% better, so I just don't see him That's retaining a good point. title. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I just, I'm such a big fan of Hottie, and I think he's... I really, he's, really like him. I like him a lot. I he's just, so complete. Like, he's so head-to-toe, back-to-front, condition is even, he's proportionate, symmetry is fucking nuts. Like, did you see his eight weeks out? It's gonna be hard to beat. Yes, I did. He looks like he's like three weeks out. Yeah. So everybody was saying, you know, his waist, you know, looked a little bit bigger, blah blah blah. And I was like, okay. I think at eight weeks looks out. <laughs> <laughs> at like, eight weeks out, though, like you can bring in, like for me personally, I can bring in my waist another couple inches in fucking eight weeks. No, I can too. But when you look at his waist <laughs> in that video, I don't think that there's much more body fat on his waist to have it bring in. But I do think people are talking about his waist when they saw the original update where all he was doing was lifting his shirt up. Mm. When you saw that eight week out update, you see that I think he has more size in general in his legs too. So it actually- As a whole, yeah. Off that anything if the waist grew an inch his legs grew too so yeah yeah i don't think that it's going to cause too many issues i just don't think that i don't know we'll see i think he's going to come in with his trademark hottie detail and conditioning and do very well i just think second place and samson might take it this one they're younger they're not there uh hottie's a bit younger too like in his 30s so Even i think if he's I late place 30s. Him lower, i don't think it's a mm, is it I'm pretty sure he's late 30s. I'm going to look it he's up. He's been here. in the game for a fucking long time. Let's he see. has. He's just been a 212 guy. That's what's weird because it's the same thing with Derek. They've been in the game for a while and... He's 36. That's pretty good. Yeah. How old is Samson? I believe he's 40. I'm looking that one up right now, actually. Samson is... Thanks for not telling me. He's definitely not 31. It says 31. He's my age? He's not. There's no way he's he's 31. I, I believe he's You like know 30. what? I think he is because when I met him here, I'm pretty sure he told me he was a 92. No way, dude. I've been thinking this whole damn time that he's been 40 years old. If he's actually 31, <laughs> oh my god, this says Samson's official age is 31 years old. There's no fucking way. If he's 31 What's his years birthday? old... birthday? If he's 31 years old, he's going to retain everything that I'm reading right now says 31. I'm like, actually, my mind is fucking blown. <laughs> Except October 2022, he was 30 years old. So now I'm fucking shocked. Okay, hold on. I want to know his actual birthday. I'm a DM him. <laughs> Bro, we should message him. We'll message him in the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, just be like, hey, by the way, how old are you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Samson, 31. good luck. We just want to know your birthday. He's, uh, about to be, he's about to be the next Ronnie Coleman if he's 31, if that's for real. I know. I know. Uh, It doesn't say... There's all these, like, random-ass sites here. But everything that I'm it's reading nothing. on every site that I see says 31, 31, 31, 31. The only one that says 30 was from 2022. Mm. Which makes perfect sense. So, am I just... There's no way, dude. What am I... That's so funny. Okay, let's get let's get back on on the placings here. I'm pretty stuck on my first, second, third now. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do. Fuck. <laughs> I'm texting I'm... Stu. Ab. <laughs> Are you gonna text him? Do you want me to text him? No, I'm texting. I don't care. We'll see. I need to. Know. 
Okay, I'm pretty stuck here, but I think I'm gonna... Alright, this is so hilarious. Okay, I think I've got it. For my new top three. I'll let you know what Fuad says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's literally blew my mind. I'm not shocked. This whole entire time has been like around eight to nine hundred and ninety seconds. Okay, what's what's yours? I'm ready to write some stuff okay. down. I've got I've got my top three at least, and then I might go from there. Yeah. So this is this is a, a, a toss up, but I'm just gonna go with my heart, and I feel like this is this is what is what could potentially happen. But I'm gonna go haughty. Derek, Sick. Samson. Still, still solid. Yeah. Do you Whereas think before they're had... going to continue this rivalry between Hottie and Derek for another year? And then bring Samson into that mix for 2024? Yeah. Because now that Nick is out, I mean, Nick was third last year. Samson beat Nick at the Arnold. Yeah, which is... Actually, I thought that was going to play negatively to Samson. That's why I feel like um, it's... Samson going to win now because of Nick not being there. I feel like Nick is just so diligent with everything that he does that that loss was just not going to be taken lightly. I don't think that there's a whole lot of things that he was going to like, I don't know. I think that that was going to just have this whole kind of motivation from the vision for him that was going to set him ahead very far. So I for think sure. that this is going to be good for Samson. I actually think and I've said this before, I've actually, this. if he is 31, this is going to be hilarious. I said, if Samson was younger, because right now, when I thought he was almost 40, I was thinking that, oh, uh, he's going to win, like, two Olympia titles, maybe three, and then probably retire around there just because of age. Now I'm thinking, I said, if he was younger, then Nick and Samson's going to be the new Ronnie, Ronnie J. But I don't know. We'll see. That'd be cool. Samson We're gonna have win. to wait till next year for that. <clears throat> Samson will win this year, and then Nick will come back with a vengeance next year, trying to take that title. That would be pretty cool. For sure. And you also have to think. We also have to take into consideration that is now the top three that is requalifying, not the top five. Yes. Um, so. Which is a big deal. I think it's. A, you know what's really funny about that too? Last year it wouldn't have mattered because four or five was still previous Mr. Olympias, so they would have qualified anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it wouldn't yeah. have made a difference last year. Which I wonder if they're going to change that eventually. But I do feel that Samson will be for sure top three. Do I know what spot he'll be in just yet? I think I think that... So you're going to be in Texas, you said? Yeah, I'm going to Texas Saturday morning. I'll be there until Tuesday. So me and Tyler, we're going to hop on together with um, Neil on... Saturday afternoon-ish, and then we were going to go over pre-judging with each other, because pre-judging's on Friday. So if you yeah. want to hop on for that one, we can get we can make sure to let you know whatever time it's going to be. Yeah, I'm down, because I was going to say, let's let's see if we that's going to change anything, because obviously it's, it's going to be a lot easier for us to see the moment yeah, but we're stage Friday night. Right this is locked yeah. in. Okay, so... I'm going to throw a right. little rock so we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm going to walk that because I think regardless, Samson is going to get another invite to defend his title at the Arnold this coming March. And then I think if Nick is recovered in time, That'll he should do. get an invite as well. No key. How do you... <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going to draw that too, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay, now okay. Fourth, fourth, I think... And this is hilarious because I was like, oh, this might change my whole lineup. So far, I'm kind of just moving everybody up. Because I'm going to put Hunter in fourth. Hunter fourth, okay. Ooh, actually, you might have swayed my opinion a little bit with some of the Brandon stuff. Yeah. I still think Hunter will beat Brandon. Now I just is up to Brandon versus Andrew for me. So I'm going to put Hunter fourth. Okay. Hunter's just that good, and he's my friend, so I might have a little bit of a bias here, but I don't really care that much. Oh, is he your friend? That's nice. I saw yeah, him one time. He's great. He let me train at his gym the whole time I was in Texas last time. It was awesome. And 
Um, we were supposed to go shooting and stuff. He invited me when he went to, he guest posted the show that I got the overall at. So oh, okay. he, invited me, he invited me to go shooting with him one of those times. I, I wasn't expecting to go to Texas then. He was in prep for Texas Pro at that point. So um, he did, he wasn't able to go then. So hopefully another one of these times I go down there, we can do it. But yeah, he's a really, really good dude. Yeah, I've not, I've seen him before, but I've not met him. Oh, like, he's such formally. a good guy. He's great. Um, <clears throat> you'll hopefully meet him. I mean, I don't know if he would be at the Arnold or not, but... Or you can just go to Texas one of these times. I'm going to try to go up there again sometime soon to see my friend Ricky. Yeah, because I think Ashley's in Texas, isn't she? Is that where she's located? Yes, I believe so. I don't yeah. know for sure. I don't, I don't talk to her a whole lot. The last time I talked to her was when she was here in Salt Lake City for Dark Sport. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her and Mike are in Texas. Because she invited me Mike. to go. I want to meet Mike. Yeah, same. He seems like I... such a nice guy. Well, I've, like, I... Skyped with him before. Like, her and him, I've, like, we've done, like, a couple calls. Yeah. Uh... He seems like such a spiritually intelligent guy, too. And, like, he's very open about mental health stuff. And, like, that's big, big for me. So that I've been following him for a while. So I really want to meet him, too. Spiritual gangster. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yeah, that is his name. I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, that is his name. <laughs> I like uh, him. Okay, so you're going Hunter Fourth. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm ready for uh... it. I'm going to go Andrew. Are you locking that in? <laughs> I know you were, I knew you were going to say that. Uh, yeah. Good, because this is not a pencil. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, Andrew Fourth, I'm going to go... Oh, fuck. See? Yeah, you're dealing with what I'm dealing with now. Brandon versus... No, Hunter I'm going to go... I'm dealing with Brandon versus Andrew. I'm going Brandon Fifth. Okay. I'm gonna go with <clears throat> you know You're what? I'm gonna go Brandon, I think. I'm putting Ian in fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do Andrew. Andrew. All right. Because the reason is, if I put Andrew and Brandon next to each other in my head, knowing that Brandon's gonna be a downsized version of himself as well. The only shots that I can see Brandon winning in are the side shots that are going to show more thickness, and that's something that Andrew's lacking because of his height. Yeah. But then Andrew has arguably the best ab and thigh in the pro league, the best front last spread in the pro league. He's got a great front double, and his back is getting pretty noticeably better every time. Yep. He also only competed once this year. Typically, he competes more. Yeah, for me, I think... I think Andrew is just, like, I've said this on previous podcasts. What the fuck just happened here? Uh. You're going to be shocked at um, my number six pick, maybe, now that I'm looking at things, too, if I keep it kind of consistent. Whoa, I'm going to be six. shocked at it? I think so, because, yeah, I had him over Brandon, but it, back when I had him over Brandon, that was seventh and eighth. Now it's sixth and seventh. Okay. He's so damn good, I'm telling you. I think that it's bullshit that they're not letting that side tricep variation in as a side tricep anymore because yeah, you know, I know I best heard variation a... of that pose ever. Because like most of them, like Hottie did this where that's he like gnarly, rotates. Though. That is that is the best version of that side tricep that's ever come out of bodybuilding ever. That is incredible. This, this is fucking nuts here. It's, like that's how I hit one too. That's why I'm bummed out about it. That's how I like to hit a side try. See, the back is just, it's better, it's getting better every single time. I just, uh, I don't know. Brandon does have a better back, but Brandon's not beating that. Brandon has a good ab and thigh, but not like that. I don't think he has the same amount of detail in the midsection. So. Yeah. Brandon's more bubbly, but he's not as detailed. And then just his legs, too. One of Andrew's knocks was detailing the legs, and those are even starting to see more lines of detail. So if you're going to put two guys next to each other that are lacking detail in the legs... I'm going to go with the bigger, taller, wider guy. Yeah, I just... Based on just genetics alone, I think I have to go... Well, that's obviously why I put him above. Yeah, he's so good. Okay, so, sorry. Who's your number six, then? Oh, no, where'd you go? We lost Josh. We lost him. 
feel come back. I just didn't want to put the hyph hyphen because I'm like, people will probably be so fucking confused. But it's yeah. Leet Dao. Yeah, I would have thought it was like Liet. You should. I mean, your, your nickname could be Milan the Elite Leet. <laughs> yeah, so I, when I started my like posing thing, my posing business, I named it Elite Posing. Elite? Yeah. That's kind of sick. I like that. I wish I had a cool... I mean, my last name might be able to make a nickname out of it, but it's kind of done Yeah, what still. is your last name? Because I got I to gotta save it in your, in your thing. It's Quick. Oh, qu just Quick. Yeah, Q-U-I-C-K. Shit. Do you have a middle name? Yeah, it's basic white people names, so it's just <laughs> Joshua Taylor. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's just... Basic white people names like one after another is all it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, did all of the other stuff upload? We don't even need to go like do a yeah. little bit of a recap thing. Okay. It, Honestly, it I, did. I think the laptop's better because everything's already more clear. Yeah, it's definitely more clear, and you sound more clear too. Wow, that's so... crazy. My laptop is better than my phone. I thought that it'd be completely opposite. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Um, I think could probably because of the uh, the processor on it. It's quicker. Yeah, that's light. Um. Okay. So yeah. where we left off was Andrew. Fifth place. Yes. Uh, which you went fifth, and then uh, you said that my your sixth is gonna kind of shock shock me here. So if I decide to still continue with what I was thinking, that's the only thing. I'm having okay. a very hard time with it right now, but I think I'm just, ah, uh, you know, there's a lot on the line here. There is. I need to see I more still, branding. I, I want to do the tattoo as the bet. I know that sounds fucking nuts, because I don't have a tattoo yet, and I've been dying to get one. Is it like the hostile specific tattoo? Because I legitimately am going to do that anyways. <laughs> I think, so like, okay, so if you were to get it, would you get the full like word or would you do just the little emblem the shield um i don't know because it it kind of depends on where i get it because what i was thinking what would be cool um they're very painful they take a lot of touch up to actually have them stick but i was going to get it on my palm right there mm. it would probably just be the shield because lettering would be too hard to do on a palm yeah i want to do I want to do a hand, like hand ones, and then I do want to do a neck one. I just, I don't, I don't know if I could do, like I want to do one right in the center. I don't have pain tolerance. But it would like be. Appearance. Oh, I'm horrible. Like with but, pain. Yeah. <laughs> this on the side was ten times worse than this one. Really? Oh, I guess like, yeah, because the. Yeah. Is the well, skin it's thinner? Black. It's so it's much black, but then. Right here, it's so close to the collarbone. This part's like super unbearable when it's like nearby the collarbone. It was so, wow. so bad. This one, I was kind of stoned for it anyway. So I was like, kind of just sitting there <laughs> and like, like, not really, like whatever. But I also don't recommend smoking before you get a tattoo because it just makes it, say, like, it takes a lot longer. I was gonna say, I feel like it would be, oh, I just got a hostile notification. Okay, yeah. Did he tell you how old Samson is? Oh no, is? I haven't messaged him yet. Because I've been actually meaning to message him to ask him about the Detroit show. Yeah? Because... Well, I just don't... The thing with that is I don't know if it's gonna... Because on the last two or three podcasts, they said it was open to NPC. Yeah. Whereas I'm technically not NPC. What are so... you? So... Well, I'm CPA, so I don't know if CPA can carry over. I think I might have to pay for a NPC membership. I don't know if I have to do an NPC qualifying show because the last one I did was technically an international show. I didn't even know that there was a... I thought that it was NPC in all the countries. I didn't know that CPA was its own thing. They said yeah. that you can go, but you won't qualify for nationals is what yeah. it is. So, so you it, would be able to it, do it. You just won't qualify. Yeah, so it's kind of like it would just be a show to do for fun, essentially. Yeah. I just volunteered so. to, like, go help. Yeah, I like, I'll be there regardless. I just thought maybe I could jump into that one 
but mm-hmm. I, I, I just don't know. I, I still am kind of up and down with what I'm going to do in regards to competing. Yeah, but, uh, that's fair. I think for me, I just kind of want to go and help because I want to be more like, if you, there's such a difference, and you know this too for sure, there's a difference between traveling to do something or traveling to compete. When you travel to compete, it you have zero time for anything else. You have zero mental capacity for anything else. And by the time yeah. you're done competing, you're not going to want to do anything else. I kind of want to go there like i want to help i want to be able to talk to people be like social because when i'm like deep in a prep i'm not i don't talk anymore yeah. i yeah. want to be able to be myself so i kind of figured that plus i'm just gonna try to get i mean when is that show what day or what, that's like, part of the april year that? april oh so i'll be likely something like, if everything goes well i will be beginning prep for usa anyways Oh, when's USA's? July. So I don't think that it would even be necessary for me to do a show like that if I'm already even qualified and stuff. It's just going to be a detriment to me trying to get my pro card if I diet down for no reason. Yeah, it's kind of a tough time of the year, too. It's just really early on. You'd have to start, like, Mm -hmm. Christmas almost. So. my plan was, when I was still going to do USA's this year, I was going to, like I said, if I get my pro card, even though they don't have a classic class there, even though I was going to be really small, I was still going to just do the open there just so I could do that as my pro debut. Yeah. Really well, but I just was going to do it anyway. Yeah. I, thought that'd I know, be that's cool. what I was hoping. I was hoping that this summer I was going to win my pro card and that I could, if they offered bikini, just jump into that show because that would be a great show for any hostile athlete, really. So... I want to see if I can sponsor the show, too. I'm going to talk to them about sponsoring the show. Oh, that would be nice. I'm sure they would definitely let you do that. Yeah, I just want to see, like, what, how much money I can throw at it and, you know, just maybe have, like, my logo up on the banner or something stupid. Like, I don't really yeah, care yeah. that much. I just kind of want to be involved. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a great idea. Um, well, we'll pend Fuad's a response to <laughs> Samson's age and... We will just, I guess, go through six. Then I'm going to do the risky thing. And this is how I had it last time. It was just different placings. I'm putting Tonio sixth and I Brent. knew it! I <laughs> fucking knew you were going to do that. No. Tonio and then Brandon? Yep. You want to know why? I mean, I can understand why, but I'll, yeah, let's hear it. Okay, for you can understand why. Let's give it... I'm a huge fan of Tonio. Tonio's incredible. He's also a buddy of mine. Not like super close friends, but we talk every now and then. So he's he's a good, he's a really just good person. We actually became friends over tattoos. It wasn't even anything to do with bodybuilding. Oh, really? And then kind of after that, it was like Jordans, like sneakers. Mm. But he is just looking better and better and better. This is going to be his best showing, his best conditioning by far. He's very dense, very, very thick very complete, almost missing nothing. The only knock on him that I would say would be hamstrings. And I don't think it's gonna be that much of a detriment, especially in his back poses. I think it's more of like a hammy hang thing from the side and it's because his quads are just so big. It's not even that his hamstrings are not there. It's just that his quads are just overwhelming. But right. when you have a downsized Brandon, you're gonna put him next to a guy like Tonio. Tonio's gonna to be sharp, dense, thick, grainy, and he's gonna have the legs. Yeah. And I don't really see Unless you're talking about structural size, I don't see Brandon beating Tonio in any pose at all. I think Tonio Tonio's fucking glutes are crazy too, whereas Brandon's glutes are quite small in comparison to the rest of his leg. Uh, I just don't see Brandon beating Tonio in any pose, like as far as how they look separately. We need to see them next to each other. Tonio is a structurally smaller guy, but he's got the. He's got, like, the William Bonac plus Dexter Jackson effect. Yeah. William Bonac effect is, like, he's got so much muscle packed onto his frame without sacrificing any amount of shape. And he's just got this... He's got a similar shape to Dexter Jackson, too. He's got a lot of detail, especially in the abs. I just think he's going to really kill it this year. So I'm going to do sixth him and then seventh Brandon. Okay. He's just... Uh, he's so fucking good, dude. I he's, think he's going to... Uh, yeah. I, I've, I've said this even when he was in 212. I was like, wow, this guy's fucking crazy. Crazy well, I mean, good. When he was in 212, he wasn't going to last in 212 very long because I'm fairly certain that he told me he has a myostatin gene mutation, um, which means 
he's not going to stay under 212 at all. And I don't think that that sounds too... You know what the myostatin gene is, right? No. So myostatin is basically like what keeps your body from building too much muscle tissue in a way. You're going to see like, if you look up, look up Belgian blue cow myostatin, just look up that. But if he actually has that, which it seems very likely just because of how he looks and how he progresses and everything, then he was not going to stay in a weight cap division for a very long period of time at all. Especially with how he trains too. It's not like he's training to not keep building muscle. Oh yes, I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Here we all just share Max my screen cows. real quick. <laughs> There's dogs. Yo, I just guys. had deja vu. Holy fuck! Yeah, I dude. had a dream about this. Like about a, a while cow? ago. No, about this like exactly like podcast. Looking this up. Well, weird. Really weird. That's fucking That's wild. Yo, imagine that thing running at you. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you watched the podcast recently where it's like, who would win a soccer match? A team of obese people versus a team of midgets? <laughs> oh, wow. No, I haven't. Do you I, see? I, well, I haven't I've been so behind because I've been so busy, but I do have a question for you after we talk about this one. <laughs> okay. A team of fat people versus a team of midgets? Obese versus midgets. And it's equal, equal team members? <laughs> or is there like two to three midgets per one 300 pounder? No? Uh, I think <laughs> that'd be fair. Really. Yo, that's You're actually like 60 to 70 pounds. Also, no offense with the word midget. We're just talking about people that are like three feet tall, okay? Yeah. Three I know we're not, we're not technically supposed to talk about this, but. Uh... <laughs> people get offended. That's their own problem. We're that's not... actually so fucking funny. Three per one. No, I, I'm going to like assume it. Right? I'm going to assume it's a full, like, like even just numbers. even teams? <laughs> yeah. You're going to have, like, a thousand pounds versus 130 pounds of people. I mean, they're playing soccer versus, I like, know, but they're like, not playing rugby. <laughs> it's going to be the fat people. The fat people are going to win. They don't need to move that much because the, the short people aren't going to be able to run fast enough to keep up with anything anyway. So the fat people don't even need to necessarily run. I feel like can midgets just... can run really fast, though. Yeah, but think about the strides <laughs> of the legs. You're going to have these little tiny legs like this with the little midget people. are going to be going as fast as they possibly can. And then you're going to have all the obese people that just walk like this. They're going to be going at like... They don't have to work as hard to go as far. You know? Fouad's gonna love you for that, because Fouad was the <laughs> only person who said that fat, sorry, obese people would win over the midgets. Fat and obese oh my is God. the same thing. That's something that's I definitely really, I'm that's definitely really not funny. worried about offending fat or obese people, because, <laughs> I mean, the, the shoe fits. That's what kind of Milo thing. said. If you, offended, <laughs> if you get offended, then you might be fat. <laughs> it might be a little out of pocket, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Let's get back on track right. here. Back on track. We both have ADHD really bad, so I kind of figured as soon as we do like a one-on-one, -on -one, it was going to be really bouncy. Uh, okay. I think we're doing Six a pretty good job. Oh yeah, we're good. Six and seven for me. Okay, so I originally had. I originally had, Brandon sixth, Hunter seventh, then Nathan eighth, Tonio ninth. So realistically, but, you have Hunter an eighth now. No. Oh wait, seven. I'm gonna go sixth. What I'm gonna go saying? Hunter <laughs> sixth. Okay. Are you locking that in? Are you super gluing it down? Yeah. I am. Okay. Oh, you froze a bit there. Oh, uh, and then I'm gonna go. Tonio, I, I mean, I would love to have Tonio actually in fifth, but I just don't. I, I just don't I know. Based on, get, I think he I got overlooked get. last year. I think he got overlooked last year. It's because it was his first Olympia. Yeah, but it's like, should that really matter? Like, if somebody shows up. It like, does matter when was, because it's unconscious. When was this Andrews? Is when was Andrews' first Olympia? Wasn't that last year? It was, but there's, there's, and he still was top 10. He just wasn't like, 
there's a thing with Andrew was a he made a louder noise in the pro league than Tonio did because Andrew came over from the elite pro league and he basically just went undefeated into the Olympia. So that's that true. a lot more noise than somebody like Tonio, who's been rising in the ranks over a period of time ever since he got his pro card at USA's. But this is where we talk about earning your stripes again kind of thing. It's not like the judges conscience, consciously are doing these things, but you'll notice when you watch the Olympia and you're seeing the first call-outs and the second call-outs and third call-outs, you're going to start to notice they call certain people by name and they call yeah. certain people by number. Yeah. Tonio was called by number. So yeah. they just aren't familiar with him quite yet. He's done a really good job in this season. I think he made a, a more of a name for himself. I think he's going to get a better look this year. I and, hope so. Um, because of that, I think he's going to be moved up quite a bit. Because I know that – that's what I was going to say too. I know that um, Ross Flanagan did beat him in a show. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Flanagan, Mr. Soft Boss, did, did beat him. I don't think that he's going to – be able to pull through with that again but i do wonder if i'm gonna have ross in the top 10 now well, i saw probably. ross in person at toronto yeah. he's super bubbly looking yeah but i felt he for toronto he started to really fade through the poses like almost after like the first round yeah and, like when you like have a fading issue that's something that doesn't require an off season to figure out it just requires more of like a peaking thing and most of the time when people fade uh, people think that it's lack of carbs, but a lot of time it's actually just lack of water. You're but I think able also to pull water into the in the muscle and give it that pop, you start to sweat it out, and then it starts to flatten out, and it makes you look less conditioned. Another thing I will say is that when he was on stage, my eyes weren't really drawn to him because first call out was Ian Hassan, Joe, Ross, Robin, I believe. That's a lot of big dudes uh, and one very small dude. Not very small, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like like Ross isn't like super massive, but yeah, I didn't I just found he wasn't maybe he just wasn't on the ball that that day, but I really didn't find that my eyes were drawn to him in any sense of like structure or muscularity, that type of thing. Like I know he is peeled, but he yeah, just seemed a little bit off. It. You get a peeled guy like Ross, and you put him next to a peeled guy like Ian. A peeled guy like Ian's going to smoke him. That's why it's always like these competitors can show strengths and weaknesses next to certain people. So yeah. I don't know how Ross will do at the well, Olympia. This is his first Olympia, I believe? I believe so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because he was off for a couple years from what, I, yeah, he's from been what doing... I'm aware of. He's focusing more on his businesses, and then he was starting to get his businesses working for him instead of himself working for his businesses, and now he's been able to allocate more of his time and focus into competing instead, since all of his other stuff is kind of like, he's more of an idea guy now, which is yeah. how it should be. It's what I'm trying to do. It's a pain in the ass to do, so definitely it's hard, man. for figuring it it's out. It's hard to, to, to be a full-time bodybuilder and, and have other areas of your life that are super successful. Yeah. Like, unless you're fucking not sleeping and you're on a bunch of... I'm, yeah, I'm not sleeping animal. and I'm on it. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm saying. You just know. What are the yeah. odds? Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that was wild. <laughs> I, and you need to smoke weed for sure. Just yeah. saying. Because uh, I, if anybody operates the way that I do with, like, working on things, I'm very neurotic. And... I will not turn off. I will work, like I wake up at eight in the morning. I work all the way up until like midnight, usually just like nonstop. I'll go to the gym, yeah. that's my break. Um, but then like even in the parking lot of the gym, I might be like designing graphics for the podcast stuff or like I might be doing something like that. I go in, I yeah. get my workout, I leave, and then I start like maybe I need to like edit a video or something for content or like one of my submissions I need to send into Hostile. Like I'm always doing something. So the only thing that helps me kind of relax is if I smoke before bed. Otherwise, yeah. my brain is just going a million miles an hour. Yeah, you sound like my boyfriend. My boyfriend's the exact same way. Like the exact same way. He's probably got like ADHD pretty bad too. Yeah. That's why I write things down. I have to write everything down. I have a pile of notebooks next to me that just- Actually, I don't know if, he, uh, he might have. He might have it, but he's just like on a, He's just such an intelligent guy. Like, he just got so much going on, and he's so he's so fucking lasered with his work that it's, like... I can tell It's taught me a lot. 
I can tell he's like that because he doesn't seem to post on social media a whole lot. Yeah, he doesn't. And that's probably... I mean, I know when I get really focused on things, I stop posting on social media on accident, too. And since I don't see much of his stuff, I just wonder if that's what he's got going on. Yeah, he doesn't really care too much for for social media anyways, which is... It's kind of good because he can focus on his yeah. other stuff. And, like, he's focusing on coaching right now. And coaching's going really, really well. So... That is something uh, that gets focused. And that's why I stopped doing social media for periods of time, too, is yeah. coaching is... It's a... It's, a lot bigger of a thing to take on than a lot of people think, especially now with the way that I'm scaling my business and bringing in more people. Yeah. Now, um, i got to get back on one of the topics that we went off of, one of the 50 yeah. topics. <laughs> okay. Put these in order. Best to, not necessarily worst, but just out of the three. Okay, ready? Okay. Waffles, French toast, pancakes. <laughs> That was so, like, I was not expecting it to go there. Uh, waff- oh, fuck. Waffles first. Okay. Pancake second. French toast third. Damn. All of us have something different. Really? Yes. So, Tyler's pancakes and then French toast waffles, I think. I have it written down. Hold on. Of course I have it written down. Not on this notebook, though. <laughs> the other one of the 53 notebooks that I have. Oh, yeah, I have, like, fucking four of them beside me right now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm weird. Let's see. I thought I wrote this down. I might not have. I know that Tyler prefers pancakes and then I know that Neil prefers French toast. I know that I prefer waffles, but then I had French toast second, pancakes third. So that's where we're different. Mm. I think because I, I don't I don't really eat French toast that much. That's probably why. I don't either, but like when I consider it, I'm like, yeah, it's 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 always good. It's always good when I want to have it and it's kind of a perfect bodybuilding meal if you think about it. Yeah. Like literally you can have that easy in the morning. You make like four eggs and well I mean when I eat French toast I said this in the last time too and I guess this is uh, absurd but when I eat <laughs> French toast I eat like 12 slices of bread Holy and eight eggs shit yeah so That's I like think Ryan that would be... do but Ryan's yeah. too lazy to he won't he won't make like he doesn't enjoy cooking like, he'll cook cooking. but he doesn't cooking. enjoy cooking but he'll eat loaves of bread <laughs> yeah like I two in a fucking little, sitting I try to find the, the most minimal way to cook food I do not like being in the kitchen. I do not like cooking food. I think part of it's my OCD. It's mostly just how much of a mess and like how many dishes are required to cook. Yeah. I have, my OCD is so bad that I have an exact amount of dishes that I need for everything throughout the day. And then I just oh. wash them. Yeah, so I have three <laughs> big bowls. Like I have my plates for my eggs. I have my plate for my like post-workout rice cakes. Like I just have that. I love that. That's yeah. amazing. I, I love cooking. I'm opposite. I love cooking. I know you have your baking stuff, so that makes sense. Yeah. I think that for me, it's something that I believe is maybe a little bit of a natural talent that I don't have because I can <laughs> look at a brownie recipe and I want these brownies. So I'm going to figure out how to make these brownies and I'm going into it. I'm going 100% on everything. I'm trying to make sure all my measurements are right. I'm mixing it perfectly and it's still soup <laughs> no matter what I do. Like to, after you bake it? I promise there's no explanation for it. I can do everything right, and it just never comes out no matter what. It well, baking is a happen. science. Baking is a science. It's so it, it's very oh, yeah, temperamental. Totally. Yeah, so... Elevation and, yeah, all this... But when it comes to brownies, for example, brownies take a little bit of time to bake. They take about almost 40 minutes. 40 I don't to have 45 40 minutes, minutes to wait for my brownies. I'd <laughs> yeah, rather see, door dash that's them. That's why it's soup. That's <laughs> Well, you I like do. Day at ten minutes, you're like, okay, no, it's good to I, go. I cooked it for the proper amount of time. It's just now I'm like, mm, Smith's makes pretty good brownies. I'll just order. Yeah, them. it's convenient <laughs> to just buy them for sure. <laughs> um, okay, let's. Uh, Who'd you say seven? Tonio. Okay, sick. Yeah, Tonio, and then. Uh... Oh, this is tough. Who are we missing? We That's like are... for sure gonna be. Well, 
I mean, we are okay. kind of near the end of the top 10 to where things are not much for sure. Like, I think the what I was saying yesterday is first call out is pretty like solidified as far as the people that are going to be in there likely. Yeah. But second call out is going to be very interesting. So I don't know. We've got people like Crizo, Regan, Justin, Ross, um, Theo, Roman. I could look up the qualified competitors list Who's too. Theo? Theo uh, LaGuerrier? Or what oh, the you? Brazilian guy? I think. He just won. He beat Roman. Roman got second. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Shorter guy, right? I don't know how much shorter he is, really. Like, I think, how tall is Roman? Uh, I want to say Roman's like 5'10", 5'9", maybe? Theo would be like 5'8", five, 5'7", five, and he didn't look like he was like really short next to Isn't Roman. Isn't that guy that has the, the, the crazy posing routine? I don't remember like his very routine. Like... I was very busy that show too, so most of me watching that show was just keeping up with what was posted. I, just, I, I think I looked him up once. It was the he was same, pretty good. He looked like 212 to me, though. Yeah, it was the same weekend as the um, Legion show. Yeah. A hacker is tracking you. That's what I got when I clicked on this thing. So. What the fuck? I'm trying to find my qualified competitor list. Um. This is tough. Yeah, this is where it's hard for me. Because I'm not a fan of Crizo. I'm not Personally. either. I was just about to say that we're like kind of on the same exact path of thinking right now. Because what I was going to say is, it's hard for me now to separate everything that I really just do not like about Crizo and look at his physique alone. Because I think that my influence on his physique is pretty heavily judged based off of his person. I just don't like him. I think yeah, I don't like him either. He's incredibly arrogant. He came into the pro league very like. He didn't seem like he had any respect for it. The first show that he did as a pro, he did win it, but his presentation was horrible. He was sweating. His posing was shaky. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. It shows me that he didn't have any respect for the league either. He was talking shit on everybody in the pro league. He was saying he's going to beat all these people. He got 13th place, which is not bad, but it's, well, he got 13th or did he get 14th? What place did Ian get? Ian, Ian was, was in 8th or 9th, I think. No, Ian was out, out of the top 10 this year, this last year. Yeah, but he was, that is was, a... I think Ian got 11th and Crizzo got 12th because 10th place was Rafa. Who's also not going to be in there this year, which sucks. I know, I love him. Okay, let's see here. Rafa's got my favorite um, physique, most likely, I would say. Oh shit, it doesn't have... Rafa got 10th. Yeah, Rafa got 10th. I think Ian got 11th and then Crizzo got Crizzo. 12th. Crizzo, yeah. Okay. Um, qualified competitors. Oh, wow. I forgot about Phil Flahar. Uh, I don't know if I'd put Phil in there. I, I don't know if Phil was even going to still do it because he did the Masters, and I don't feel like he... Oh, yeah. Kamal's not doing it anymore. I would put Charles, to be honest. Charles is good, I think. Charles is he really good. He really I... changed, like... He changed up. A lot his, within the last a little bit. He's looking different too. I think that's a good. Uh, but actually, I don't think Charles is qualified this year. I think he's qualified for next year. No, I think he's. Oh what really? The, oh, the Legion. The show that he won? Legion Sports Legion? Fest. Hold on, let me I'm see. I'm pretty sure I'm... it's for this year because I remember Justin Rodriguez was super fucking butthurt about it. Oh, because I feel like the I mean the qualified list that I'm looking at right now on online doesn't have um, him in it. Oh. The most recent um, person that was added was Theo, but Theo's not even on this list too. So what the hell? I, I find sometimes they don't. The list is never right. Yeah. Um. Fuck. I'm on Generation Iron. That's my bad. Yeah, that's where I was just. On. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, that's definitely on me. Complete scorecard. Okay, here. Okay, so... Ian was 11th. 12th was Crizzo. 13th, Patrick Johnson. 14th, Charles. 15th, Justin Rodriguez. I'm so sad about that because I really like Justin, but yeah, I don't... Yeah, Charles is... is uh, I think he's Justin was really good, like... 
two years Ooh. ago. Fitness Volt. Shout out to Fitness Volt. Whatever this website is, they have Ian retired, Brett Wilkin withdrawn, Rami withdrawn. Like they have all these things. They have it all the way uploaded oh. to Nick Walker withdrawn. Like they put everything on here. here Nathan fitness. Diaz, Lisa denied. Volt. Why is Regan's name red on here? The only red and Hunter's name is also red. I wonder if that's just a mistake. But um That's weird. Generation Iron, why don't you get your shit together and do something correct? Dude, they are all over the I fucking hate place. I hate Where them. Where is this site? Can you send me that? So I can yeah, pull I'll send that up. You. Thank you. Um Okay. Can I text it to you so, or would you rather me send it on Instagram? <sighs> I'll yeah, send on Instagram. Because then I can pull that up on the screen. Uh, so who do you have eighth, if you're ready? Um, eighth. Who have I not put yet? Okay, so I've got seven, Brandon. Charles is good. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, like, I'll, I'll pull up jo uh, Sorry, Charles after this. I'm doing my best to not have this weird... Feeling against um, Prizo, but like also, yeah. Prizo looks really good in tank tops, and the reason is because he has a very weird midsection, and he also has zero glutes. He has no glutes. It really bothers At me. All. Because it his bothers. obliques are so big too, mm -hmm. he doesn't have enough roundness in the glute to kind of create that X frame from the back. And he also doesn't have a whole lot of actual midsection detail like it's very underdeveloped as far as detail goes so uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put max in eighth which is a big big one actually that's a big deal or charles not max who the hell am i why am i thinking of <laughs> i was thinking of max charles, charles. that's why i got that mixed up max yeah. charles charles yeah. one time i did i did i did that where i posted a story it was about the new york and I, it was Max Charles, I think, and I tagged Charles in it, and he really? messaged me back, like, immediately. He's like, wrong Charles. I'm like, oops. Wrong, wrong one. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Charles, I was going to put him possibly eighth as well. But... Charles Griffin eighth is what I'm thinking. I just Here, think yeah, that's let's, a good... let's pull I him mean, up. It's, it's pretty crazy to even put Tonio ahead of uh, Charles Griffin, but I do think that that's going to happen still. I think that, ah, it's tough. I think that is tough. Tough, tough, tough. <laughs> like, look at this shit. He's just it's up. not showing me anything yet. Hold on. Oh, wait, I got to Really? Yeah, it shows me um, your Microsoft Bing. Why are you using Bing? What is wrong with you? I'm not using... <laughs> I don't know really. <laughs> I actually don't use that. I don't know why that came up. My PC is still kind of new. I'm still getting used to this thing. All right, you see this now? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, I got it. His legs are great. His legs came up so much. The Has only thing is his I believe he's had a pec tear, it looks like it, huh? He, yeah, he did. He did. It's not too, like... Like, six or seven months ago. It really doesn't take that much away from it, though, once he actually gets into his poses. Like, there's a slight divot, but, like, it's close up to where his shoulder and pec tie into each other, too, to where it kind of is not hidden, but blending. Yeah. He's um, got a I short have to change pole. something up here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to put it. I'm going to leave him in eight. I think that he's got a short torso. That doesn't really have anything wait, to do with anything. I was just going <laughs> to. <laughs> did we, sorry, did we confirm if his qualification is for this year? Yeah, he's on. I, I have the list. He's the most recent qualified competitor behind Theo. Okay. Ooh, you know, no, I don't think that uh, Roman can beat Charles, unfortunately. No, I don't. I love Just, Roman. I think he's so good. I had Roman in 10th for a hot minute there um, until yesterday. Because I do just. You, it was one. Seeing this, seeing this, though. I'm dead. I still leave him in. I still leave him in eight. Fuck. Any back ones? Yeah, I know. I was just about to, to say that. 
There's this. Well, I don't know if he hits anything here. No. I mean, you can still see... Oh, yeah, he's... It's definitely... See, this is where uh, I have to consider more structural because uh, it's definitely not a Tonio level back. But, bro, the thickness is fucking wild. The thickness is wild, but Tonio's is definitely thicker. Tonio's structure and just his lines are... Yeah, back to... I don't, uh, sorry, back to, I don't really... I'm not a fan. Look at that side try. It's fucking nuts. Yeah. For me, the overall thickness and just, like, the lack of gaps in his physique, like, especially in the adductors, I feel he might have Tonio there. Nah, Tonio's legs are still pretty good. I think I'm still gonna... I'm leaving Tonio where he is. I'm leaving Charles in eighth. I think he's gonna get eight. I think in terms... Yeah, if we, if I take into consideration... There we go. Mm. No. Yeah. You gotta go back to Tonio's back double to, or back lat spread. Or, like, he's just... He's so evenly thick throughout the whole back, too. It's like everything yes. just comes up so evenly. He's got, like, a, an actual update of his back, I thought. Does he? Maybe it's that from that post right there where he's doing the most this muscular one? in the wheel. Yeah, maybe. He might do more than just the most wow. muscular. This yeah, guy's see? wild. <laughs> Does that change anything for you? I mean, I, I prefer Tonio's look. Midsection detail is another thing that Charles doesn't have, and that's why he pulls a vacuum. Yeah, that's true, because, yeah, he did... I remember he got a lot of uh, flack for his midsection um, the last couple years, and then his legs, and then he pulled that vacuum, he started working on that, and then that's when he started doing a little bit better. Yeah, and I think he kind of has... He has diastasis recti, doesn't he? Um, Charles Griffin? Uh, I'm not too sure. I actually don't know too much about... Charles. Also, oh, let's yeah. See, look at this is just much, yeah. much, much more impressive to me, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I agree. Everything. He's staying in sixth. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, you have him sixth. Mm -hmm. You have. I have, I have him over seven. seventh. Yeah. You have Hunter sixth, and I yeah. bolted that one down, so you can't even. I actually did too. Yeah. Because I said I'm bolting this one in. <laughs> So, okay, so that being said, if we're saying, you know, Tonio, 6th and 7th, you have Charles 8th, do you not think that Justin could be comparable because we have somebody like Tonio and Hunter and Brandon in the 5, 6, 7? I have Justin I mean, up in top 10. I don't think that he's going to be comparable to those guys just st strictly from... A density standpoint? Yeah, mostly just density, and he's also, and, he's going to be lighter still than, I. Ah, what was Tony, like 220s or something, uh, so he's like relatively similar in like weight to Justin, but he's much thicker and denser, and I've seen a lot of really impressive updates from Justin too, though, where he's looking pretty, I mean, most of the good ones have been on a story, so they're not even like, I was going to say, we can check there. his story right now, Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think he's going to post anything cool. right now. He posted a most muscular that he was just like recording on his phone, like in the mirror like that. And it was ridiculous. Like here, his condition was fucking wild. Yeah, I just think that maybe he needs more balance. I think he's got really good legs, but because of how wide he is up top and how much arm he has, he might need more leg. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I think in order to get that more leg, it's going to take more time if he does not want to lose that waistline because he's going to have to train a certain way. Yeah. And the chest. His chest is good from the side. like, And when he does his most muscular, I think it's just that. Maybe it's flatter there. I don't know because I feel like he's got a pretty good chest. It reminds me of Franco Colombo. Yeah. See? Exactly like a Franco Colombo most muscular. But I mean, I if you're... Well, when was You're this? You're right, right there. Oh, this, this is... That doesn't look thick. This... Yeah. Like, just the inner, kind of upper chest uh -huh. there. It looks like... Uh, I mean, these were all little... Chicago and stuff, but... It looks like maybe his chest is lacking a little bit because a lot of his pressing movements are being taken over by the shoulders and the triceps. 
So maybe yeah. he just needs, I mean, I'm sure he knows that. He's very, like, intuitive with his training. But um, I feel like that would be the thing. He needs to change the way he does his pressing movements. Yeah, I think I think maybe this year he, he will kind of be more at the bottom of the but top ten. But, yeah, just a little bit, I mean, a little bit more. And he's still so new to, for him to competing. Now, Oh, we need your eighth place because I'm at nine ten. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out my eighth because. Yeah. I'll wait. I'll let you do that before I think of nine and ten. Fuck, that's this is so tough, man. Well, okay, so actually, let's pull up. I saw this picture yesterday, which I okay. I originally didn't have him in my uh, top ten. But seeing this, I was like, you know what? I think I might might have to consider consider this. So I saw this, and I thought, okay, yeah. this is definitely this is definitely an improved version of him. Which, like you said, we touched on this before. When judges see improvement, usually in kind of okay. doing your time, yeah, like they're 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 gonna definitely put him. They're, they're he's... definitely gonna give him a chance. He's been in the bottom call out of every Olympia he's done. And also with this yeah. picture, it's in his gym with his lighting that he likes to use. And it's also his strongest body parts that he's displaying right now. Yeah. His back and his hamstrings. So, but that being said, I, it's, it's definitely I, the best I've I seen him. Regan. I think he's an incredible bodybuilder. I think that he still needs to do something to fix certain poses because I mean, personally, for me, I think that his front double is just aesthetically not great. I need to see his front double. For it's me, it's just something... the, it's still it's still the density, especially in the shoulders and the chest. Yeah, but for me, it's when he goes up into that front double, I feel like he loses a lot of that density in the chest, and then his arms are not as um, big. Maybe you might have to, yeah. to find that pose, because... We're bodybuilders, you know better than that. He's not going to post a weak pose of his. Yeah, that's why I'm, try, I'm trying to fucking photo. find it. I can't find, can't find it anywhere. Yeah, go in his tag photos. Maybe I'll hit a front here, front double. No, he won't. I bet you he won't. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, You're tags. You're not likely to see a front double on his uh, page unless you go to tags. And then hopefully we'll just find like a stage tag, something from. The shows that he's done that's the only thing that sucks with the bodybuilding media pages that we have like they do post so often which is really good but then like i could never go to sulios or bodybuilders without borders or buys and tries and like oh i want to go see how um this show that was this many months ago was because there's already been so many updates since then because they stay on things i literally talked about this in the last podcast i did i was like i have to scroll for like five minutes just to get to a show from like two weeks yeah. ago Okay, I can't um, really find anything here, but let's... Yeah, I think it's just a... I mean, it's it's one of the only poses I can really think about to have a, like any kind of knock on it, though, to be honest. Oh, shit, my phone's ringing. Uh, I'll, I'll just message him after. It's my boyfriend. He's supposed to be Is over it? in, like, 40 minutes. Yeah, um, we'll be done. We'll run it up. Okay, so... Here, I'll send this. Well, this looks better than I remember it being. Fuck, this is so this tough, is man. This is tough, because it's like... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go Charles. Charles and eight? Yeah. For why do I right feel like now, we're missing... Why do I feel like we're missing somebody? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at everything. I've got the qualified competitors and all that stuff pulled up. So it's... The only thing that I'm trying to think of is... Because right now we're nine and ten. We don't have Crizo in the in there at all yet, and yeah. the people that we have left are. And this might throw a wrench in things because I don't think he's being talked about a lot. But I still just don't see him getting in those top spots. So we don't have Ross. We don't have Crizo. We don't have Klohar, Presti. Now the the one that I was going to say might throw a wrench in things is Hassan. I don't think that I have Hassan placed, but that's what I'm trying to wonder: is Hassan better than Justin? And then we've got Roman, um, Theo, Regan. Regan's not up yet. I think 
I just need to figure out where I think Regan's going to go, and then it'll kind of fall into place after that. But then I need to figure out where Hassan's going to go, if he's going to go anywhere in the top 10 at all. I yeah. think Hassan can keep a guy like Justin out of the top 10 sheerly from thickness and size and density. I, I don't know about Presti, though. I'm just looking at him right now. I really like Presti, but um, he's, he's a... It's the legs for me. Yeah, it's the legs. It's not his legs. That, they're not even bad. It's just his shoulders are so gnarly wide. It's that his, he needs legs. It's the legs and the waist for me. Yep, bad waist. Me off. bad waist. Hold on. I mean, it's not great. See? Like the... I think it's... I mean, the, it has potential to be better. I think it's maybe a little bit distension here. Like, he could come in more condition and get some more detail out of the midsection. Maybe he could learn how to pull like a mid vacuum kind of thing, but his waistline and size is good. Um, the legs, I think he's got good legs. I just think that his shoulder width is so ridiculous that it makes his legs look narrow. So that's where it is with him is the up, upper lower balance. He's just going to yeah, need to get for sure. legs. Uh, the back lat though, I really... Yeah, okay, I, 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 I wouldn't say I have him in the top ten, top. me neither. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Crizo ninth. Okay, Crizo. We're duct taping that one in. And then I'm gonna go Regan, tenth. Regan tenth. Only because I can't really think of anybody else that's gonna check all the boxes in terms of uh, criteria. Just balance and. It mainly balance, right? Like, you're, like you're not going to see a guy in top ten that's that's going to be extremely, yeah, unbalanced that's why from I'm of, head to toe and then back to front. That's why I'm considering Hassan so much. He's balanced. He's complete. It's just his conditioning Condition. is usually what the issue is. And then now I don't even think it's conditioning. I think it's just detail because when you get a, I believe that when you get enough muscle tissue after a while the lines start to mend into each other. Like yep. you're gonna start with like that separation, the bigger and the thicker that it goes, the more it starts to push into each other like that. You start to lose those deep lines. That's what you see with Rami's quads. That's what you see with a lot of guys that get bigger. Even when Jay was getting bigger and Ronnie was getting bigger, they were losing the lines and details. They weren't as, they were still there. They just weren't deep. Um, yeah. Like a good example would be Sean Roden has, ex like he had very, very deep separated lines everywhere. Um, yeah. And he wasn't like a giant bodybuilder by any means either. So I don't know. Uh, Hassan is fucking it up for me, dude. Because I, I think want Hassan. To put... I would like to see Hassan next to Regan. I think Hassan because can be Regan right now. I think based on how the judges have been judging Hassan, I don't. I don't think they will do that, but They're I would prefer that. He doesn't move. Yeah. I think, I think I'm... Oh, damn, dude. I'm gonna do um, Hassan. Fuck it. Hassan ninth. Yeah, because I want, as badly as I want to put Justin in my top 10, and I was gonna have him ninth. I now, the more that I consider and think about it, I don't know if he can beat Hassan yet. Ten. Um, okay, God, sorry. So you went... Who did you put ninth? Hassan. Okay. All these people that would have made this much easier if they were just in the show. Like if Nathan was there, if uh, Baruz was there, if Ian was there, if Brett was there... And if Nick was there, then I wouldn't have near as hard of a time. Yeah. I know. That's why I was like, fuck, this is a lot harder than I thought. I love Brett. I'm so sad about that. But it is what it is. Yeah, the, it's... He's a younger uh, bodybuilder, right? Uh, I think he's a year or two older than me. So I feel like he's 32 like or 30, 33. 32. Yeah, he's younger. Yeah, I don't, he's got he's got enough time at least. We'll still see him. Yeah. Uh, uh, it might even play a benefit to him to take another year before he does it because 
he might want to stick on some of that new size that he's got too, so that it actually looks a lot better when he, he comes down. He lost a lot of it though. He did. He lost a lot of it. Yeah, I don't know if you saw his post, but he he was training with Urs recently, mm-hmm. and he looks like significantly downsized. He looks great still, but was he uh, was it a like he lost for him when he qual- yeah a lot out? of problems. He had a lot of problems. That's likely like, because he put on so much size so damn quickly. He I think was pushing was so fun. hard. I was like, I had a feeling, like I'm, I wasn't shocked that it happened. Um, but it's just, a, it's just a shame with the timing. But mm-hmm. uh, okay, so you have Hassan ninth. Yeah, Are you going- I'm trying to think. Crizzo versus Justin right now, and the reason is because. They have a similar strength and they have similar weak points, but then there's a structure and a shape um, aspect between the two. Crizo has more bigger structure. Justin has better shape. They're both strong in the arms. They're both weak in the back. Um, That could go either way for me. I think that maybe just because it's the Olympia, they might go for the structure and the size and the conditioning. But like, do we know what kind of conditioning Crizo is going to be in anyways? To me, it seems like he's in crazy condition right now. Like, definitely the best he's been. Still I don't, I'm doesn't. Putting, I'm putting Justin. I, I, I don't either. <laughs> I had Justin originally in 10th, but I feel as if just the the maturity on Crizo will overtake Justin, unfortunately. I also just realized I don't have Regan in my top 10, so I'm going to put Regan 11th just for the shits and giggles because I do think that's where he's going to end up placing if I am correct with all this. Okay. But that's it. Locked in. Locked in. Down, strapped in, super glued. <laughs> everything's solidified. Yeah. Sick. Fuck, I want to keep this going, but unfortunately I have to I Oh, no, you're good. But if you're free on Thursday... Let's do something on Thursday, because actually, one thing I would like to talk to you about is the classic. You know what's funny? and We I, haven't I, talked about it yet. I think I do know enough about classic to where I could do it, but I definitely follow 212 and open much more than I do classic. I do. Oh, yeah, we didn't do 212 either. I do think I have some interesting stuff to say about classic, though. So. Me too. I'll save it. I'll save okay. it. I'll, maybe I'll text you about it, but I'll save it for the people. Okay. <laughs> I'm one for the people. Do you know what time Thursday possibly? Uh, I'm off, so I can do any time really. Okay, I should probably be able to do that too. Okay. We'll just uh, keep in touch about that. Okay, so let's do let's just do a final kind of uh, yeah rundown so, here. So you have Samson, Hadi, Derek, Hunter, Andrew, Tonio, Brandon, Charles, Hassan, Crizo, Regan. That going to eleventh. And then I have Hadi, Derek, Samson, Andrew, Brandon, Hunter, Tonio, Charles, Crizo, Regan. You said Justin 10th, right, for me? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I thought you said Crizo. Okay, okay sorry. I'll, I'll stay on real quick. First, Samson. Second, Hadi. Third, Derek. Fourth, Hunter. Fifth, Andrew. Sixth, Antonio, 7th, Brandon, 8th, Charles, 9th, Hassan, 10th, Justin, 11th, Regan, and Ian is 7th in our hearts. Yeah. (laughs) Because he's always 7th. Um... I have it written down. (laughs) Alright, we have it locked in. I mean, okay, we can say, can we allow some changes within the next couple days? Or are we saying this is locked? I'm pretty sure this is locked. Fuck. Okay. Do you want me to ask them? Yeah, we can I'm ask. I'm pretty sure it's locked because, because originally the other ones that we just did yesterday were locked too. So I oh, think we, okay, okay. We only get one more chance, and I think you and I took our chance today. They get to have their chance whenever they're able to do it. Right, because of Nick being knocked out. Mm-hmm. Okay, but, cool. Yeah, this is where we're going. All right. All right, Josh. Thank you very much. We'll, yeah, uh, we'll uh, talk again on here. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll just... I can either... Well, I'll upload it on mine, and then I'll just do, like, a collab or whatever, saying putting your guys' podcast on there, too. 
Okay, yeah, you can do like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like way. putting both names. Even if you want it to just be your podcast and then like tag me as an individual, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Cool. All cool. right, dude. Well, Sounds good. good. Yeah. Go I'm make hungry. a movie and do some client calls and stuff. Yeah, I got a I got an hour drive ahead of me, so. Oh shit! Good luck. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.